Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Recessive News Network. Over here, we discuss the topics they refuse to cover on national TV. And today, I have a doozy for you guys. This lady right here, she's a chef. Well, she's a wannabe chef, and she decided to let me try a new ingredient in one of my favorite dishes. And you know what it is? Well, you know what I'm not going to tell you. I'll let her tell you. This is why you should not make cinnamon rolls or any baked goods out of your yeast infection. This is why you should not make cinnamon rolls or any baked goods out of your yeast infection. This is why you should not make cinnamon rolls or any baked goods out of your yeast infection. This is why you should not make cinnamon rolls or any baked goods out of your yeast infection. I just want to do some damage control because I know I came on here and said I made cinnamon rolls out of my yeast infection and they turned out really good and they did. They tasted really good, but we consumed them. And two days later, these white spots start popping up, popping up on mine and my husband's tongue. But we consumed them. And two days later, these white spots start popping up, popping up on mine and my husband's tongue. Came on here and said I made cinnamon rolls out of my yeast infection and they turned out really good. And they did. They tasted really good. But we consumed them. And two days later, these white spots start popping up popping up on mine and my husband's tongue and i'm googling what that means and it says it's oral thrush which is essentially a yeast infection for your mouth and it says it's oral thrush which is essentially a yeast infection for your mouth it's oral thrush which is essentially a yeast infection for your mouth oral thrush which is essentially a yeast infection for your mouth and the reason we have it is because we consumed my yeast <laughs> Is why you should not make cinnamon rolls or any baked goods out of your yeast infection.